welcome to my channel in the last video we built Django REST basic crude API in this tutorial we will learn the three essential building blocks of Django REST framework such as request objects response objects and status code after knowing this we will be able to cover the core of Django REST framework. So let's get started. Django REST framework provides two wrappers to write API views. One is API view decorator and another API view class. API view decorator and API view class okay now import API view decorator it works with function based views so let's import from REST framework decorators okay import API view okay now add annotation API view okay and also add annotation before article detail function okay and also import status and response class okay from rest framework dot response import a response class okay and also import status from rest framework import status okay let's refactor our views slightly include the method get and post okay now update the code here json response to response okay and also delete this line and put here request dot data okay A response and update status code to status dot http 201 created okay and also update status HTTP food zero zero bad request okay and return response with serializer errors and status code HTTP four zero zero bad request here request object extends 
the Django regular HTTP request and provides more flexible request parsing. The core functionality of the request object is request dot data attribute. It handles arbitrary data and more useful for working with web APIs. Return response. The response object is a type of template response that takes unrendered content and uses content negotiation to determine the correct content type to return to the client. Status Django REST framework provides more explicit identifiers for each status code such as HTTP 201 created and HTTP 400 bad request. It is good idea to use this rather than using numeric identifiers. Now we can work with the form API in a web browser. Test API in browser using URL. Okay, save this file and run the server, activate virtual environment. Okay, now run Django server. Okay. Open the URL in a web browser. Now browse the URL API articles. Okay. Take a look at this URL. And this is the root URL. Okay, we can use two format for get request API and JSON format. This is the JSON format, and this is the API format. Okay, now create a new article from this form API. Okay. Now click on post to create a new article in stamps. Okay. Now list the articles and you will see. Now refactor another function and methods. Okay. Go to view and add another method here get put and delete okay now since this line and update status status dot http four zero four not found okay and here change to response and remove this line from here 
and update data with request data okay save this file and also update status bad request okay and the return response okay and also update this line and status code okay http 204 no content okay save this file now okay now update an article instance so copy this and retrieve a specific article instance by id okay now first here id id okay now change the value of title okay now click on put and you will see the article instance title has been updated okay we can add optional format suffix to our urls add format keyword as a argument to both views function okay format none okay also in article detail format okay now update url file of api url okay now import format suffix patterns from rest framework url patterns okay import format suffix patterns okay now add this line urls equal format suffix patterns url patterns okay now save this file we don't necessarily need to add this extra url patterns in but it gives us a simple clean way of referring to a specific format in the next tutorial we will learn the class based view in django rest api if you like this video subscribe this channel and comment like and share this video thank you so much for watching this video